Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Now, I'm starting to think about this. There's three floors here of this small area, and we did eight floors technically of the previous area, but really when you start to... when I start to think about it, well... That's something that wants to shoot me. It's a robot. Oh no. Well, gee, that's not gonna work. Let's sneak back this way then. Um, there really isn't much. And some more guys. Oh, come on. Where's the thing? Can I... Can I hide? So maybe I should've turned on my see-through vision so I could've seen that. It's definitely trying to find me. If only I had some way to stealth take down things. Looks like there's a computer over there. So. Is there a way I could get over there? Elsewise, nope. Interesting. One of these computers has to be the right one. And there's a camera over there. I Seems like when the robots are moving, however, they can't see me they don't look for me at least. 15% chance of detection, 55% chance of 35% chance, 15 percent, 15 percent, 15, well 35 and 55 and then, come on, give me that. Come on. Access grid. There we go. Inactive. Alarm off. Good. Of course, that's not going to solve the main issue. We still have got this this setup. Where is the security one? Here it is. Security hub. Completely unlocked. And no robots connected to it. So that turns off the thing. Interesting, these are the old style cameras with a new desktop on them. That robot's gonna come right back in here. Unfortunately, that is really the case. So, just kinda hide here and see what this would do. This will take us upwards and I think that might be a good direction to go. The upper floor armory. It's another robot right here. It's coming this way. Really? Okay. So it seems like it will 
Shut that door. Seems like that was a little too easy. It just rolled right by me. Was that what they meant to do? With these things that as long as they weren't weren't in their scan mode right when I was in their vision was that their intention always that it was supposed to be they would just roll right by me without even noticing so no sneaking to this next computer we'll just wait till that thing's not looking oh come on oh come on It saw the door open. Oh, come on, ridiculousness. Oh, no, 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 no. not very successful we're back here because I didn't save anything if I open these will these guys start shooting at me right here so if I just sneak this way because I set the alarm off at the very beginning? Absolutely, it's gotta be. Alright. I set the alarm off accidentally right walking through at the very beginning walking through this. Should be getting faster at this at this rate. Let's see. This is fortunately not locked, and I think that is actually pretty accurate and fair because considering it doesn't connect to any of the security guards. This guy's just not going to see me at all. It's all fine. It's all cool. You can just walk right behind him.
armory code. Nothing else in this area. So let's see. Dual saves coming. I mean, I totally see how you could do this. Where is that thing? It's over here. So it turns around and it starts going this way. There we go. So now when this starts going this way, we start going this way. There we go. And we are in another one of these totally like really hard hack things. 15% chance of detection here. 15% chance of detection here. 15 here, 35 here, we'll just use a nuke virus on it, why not, and then 35 nuke virus, Access granted. there you go, lead skills, so now we can disable this, and robots are now against the enemies, what robots are particularly connected to that one? is the question we need to ask ourselves because we didn't really get that information shown to us. I'll go ahead and use these painkillers because why not? So I imagine the implication, yeah there's nothing there, uh, is that the one right next to us is definitely set to attack enemies. And we very well might see like a man down pickup. There. there we go, we'll do a stop warm. Access denied. Darn it. We'll try that again in twenty nine seconds. There's all kinds of stuff here and Almost none of it is going to go with me. Let's see. Ten more seconds. If we fail at this hack, then we'll auto-hack it. But I still think the auto-hack actually requires us to wait the 30 seconds. Come on, game. It's just... It's just floating. It's floating to what it thinks is right. I think is part of the problem. Uh, see, and that's way easier this time. Yeah, we totally got it this time on without getting Access detected. Granted. Trailblazer for 400 experience. All kinds of... See, there was an auto hack even here. So we'll go ahead and drop this and pick up this cooling system. What does the cooling system work on? Interesting. Heavy rifle and plasma rifle. So if we have the peps here, that's still not a plasma rifle. Interesting. So we don't want this. This is like a pulsed energy projection system. Knock down it knocks down multiple enemies in a blast wave. So instead of like the tranquilizer gun here, it could do multiple enemies. And it has no upgrades, whereas the 
tranquilizer rifle. Kinda did. So I think you probably have the stun gun as your main one. And everything else will drop seven here and drop this. See if we can pick up the silencer, the silent sniper rifle. We're still a little short. Hmm. Drop the typhoon ammo, drop drop the shotgun ammo. Drop drop the crossbow bolts. We'll drop some shotgun cartridges, how about that? Well, I hope that was the right decision, because I probably am going to use the shotgun eventually. Let's see, where are we on the map now? We've got this little sections to look at, then these little sections. We've been down there. So far, so good. But, yeah, this area is so small now that we really start to think about it and look at it. it they've they put a lot of effort, I think, into Detroit. Oh, they probably did put a lot of effort in it. I don't want to say they didn't but they didn't put enough. Uh, game making has changed a lot. It probably was a lot more work to... I've got a possible visual. Get over there and confirm it. It, was, it probably was a lot more work Hello? to do even this game here, than it would be today. <laughs> see, hold this guy and him this way. Where's the other guy going? We got another security hub here. Level 3 hack. 15% chance of detection. Another 15 percentage. Another 15 percentage, and then another 15 percentage. Access granted. Okay, we got this, which can go off. Actually, we'll just activate this, and then set this. And then see if we can see the robot. There it is. Marksman for 10. Interesting, the robot's getting a marksman ability. I know you're still here. Can we get a better visual of the robot on this side? Somebody was gonna come through the door, decided not to. Oh man, I think somebody just took out my robot. That's no fun. What is this book? I can't read it. So there's a guy here. But it knows how also how we get 50 experience and killing them only got us 10. 
that's definitely something you, we want to keep in mind because we still don't have all these um, achievements. Actually, we have quite a few that we need to put in here though. Let's see. We'll buy this. So now we can jump higher. We have the ability to run and walk silently, which is an active ability that will use our energy. We can go ahead and buy the Typhoon system. And now we have deals enough damage to kill um, robots get damaged, but not enough. So we'll just upgrade Typhoon to the maximum now. So if we have to, we will do a Typhoon right on it. How does it, how's it work though? Okay, the Typhoon system is right on the D-pad. The Vision system is down on the D-pad. We have a guy that's alarmed somewhere. And then, how do we activate the Quiet Walk? Is interesting. Did we not unlock that? Nope, we haven't gotten it yet. It requires another Praxis kit. Alright, what ridiculousness. So we had five Praxis there, and it still wasn't enough. We'll not shoot it, we'll hack it. Here we go, we want this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Access grant. Deactivate that. I don't think there's anything in here. The good news is I have the shotgun and the uh, Typhoon system, so if we get into a big boss fight, we can easily, we should be able to easily take the people out, the boss out, hopefully. That would be kind of sucky if the Typhoon system and the full, uh, fully upgraded shotgun was still not enough. We are here. I bet this is the boss's office because it has a globe in it, like our boss has globe in it. Regrets, our role. Guns. Because that's what you do in your boss's office, you put guns. I'm getting the feeling this world is dangerous. For all the guns around. <laughs> One way or the other, you see this many guns in a world, you you know it's not very safe. Let's see. We're up to 40 and 42. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that one and that one. Access grant. What the hell is Rogue publishing? The yellow journalism is what it is. It's. 
or maybe it's not it's the opposite of yellow ju journalism perhaps let's go ahead and hack this one detect that one detect that one and don't detect that one. Access granted. Should have been saying don't detect those. There's like some message that's getting passed around back and forth, WTF, between the different computers. We are here, we came in there, so let's look over here, one more Praxis kit would be appreciated, ten more would be appreciated more, and I think kind of deserved. For a game that is kind of built around you being this super, like, cool Terminator type guy, being super limited by Praxis Kits doesn't help. And I know I used the word super there in that sentence too much, and I'm sorry, but it really does go to show just the disconnect. If you want to play a game that is about being a super terminator type ki guy, I would heavily recommend, uh, what is it called? Hmm. Crackdown. That's the name of it. Yeah. Because you play as a robotic police officer cracking down on crime and gangs and anybody else the government doesn't like, turns out, after a while. Um, and that is a pretty awesome game to play. Makes you feel real powerful. We'll go ahead and take some more drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Only in video games. I'll get us up to 150 until we get hit. Then we'll be right back down to 100 after we heal from whatever extra damage we take over the extra 50. Uh, of course, the thing about Crackdown is you are always on the move, you're running and gunning non-stop, and in no way is there any hacking or anything like that. Access grant. Be careful. No duh. Anybody that's working down here at the sub-levels is obviously, like, been led on the seat, led into the secret of ha what Pisces is really doing, and if that is the truth, they ha have to keep silent for fear of their life. Access granted. What the hell is Rogue Publishing? I was, realize you're new to this division of Pikes and that my enthusiasm. That being said, about your question, Pisces was originally consolidated by. Dazzle Me Magazine, TK Records, and Rogue Publishing when it was founded in 1985. I'm somewhat surprised you didn't already know that. Okay. Uh. So, interesting. The letter of the email doesn't even really have anything to do with what I thought it would have. Poor dead guy shot by a robot. I could have punched him. He would have been so much better off. Another room. Getting that explorer thing. 200. So just going in the rooms gives you four times as much as it you would get for doing one silent takedown. Non-lethal takedown. 
an ebook, a scholar. Finding one ebook, same thing, 200 experience. So it may feel like I'm playing like an OCD type person, just gotta find everything and do everything, but I just want to have everything unlocked by the second run, and I'm still kind of not certain that is going to be the case. Did I hack this one? Nope. Despite my almost best efforts, I have kind of cheated a little bit in some of these things, uh, undoubtedly. Because there definitely has been a situation where I've access granted. There we go. Where I've let the robots take them out. Alright, so going down to this section is the next part of the game. And we did everything up top. So we are done with this level. We are, can go right here to this part. And I can't help but feel like we are going to end up in a real boss fight. So two things to do there. Let's see. Equip. <laughs> Um, that's pretty slow, just to load it even. <laughs> Anyways, I, that'll give me one shot with the rocket launcher, I have three. And then we're going to end this recording too. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name righto. On the right will be a blue button that says support this, uh, this channel. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.